welcome to another video tutorial with Merkel of Sweden. Today we're gonna make water and like ocean or lake water on the layout. I had a hang up on this and uh, didn't really make any water until I found a method which I found suitable for me. It is of course based on toilet paper and glue. What else? <laughs> One great advantage with this method is that the waves are created in the bottom layer and not on the top. That makes it less demanding and higher probability to get a good looking result. I have a plywood base for my uh, lake, but uh, styroform will do just as well. I start by peeling off a bunch of sheets from the toilet paper. Then time to put some glue onto my plywood. I use wood glue as usual and thin it with a bit of water. I apply the glue water mix with a brush like this. Then it's time to start covering the plywood with the first layer of toilet paper. I first place them in the glue and then I add extra glue on top so the whole paper gets really soaked into the water and glue mix. As soon as I've completed the first layer of toilet paper I add another layer and I also soak this layer in a lot of water glue mix. If you happen to use the same pretty toilet paper I used with a small hearts on, you might want to get rid of the pattern and that is easily achieved by just erasing it with the brush. Same thing goes for the edges between the sheets. You don't want those lines to be visible, uh, so you erase them with the brush. As soon as the second layer has been completed, I add a third layer of toilet paper. Same here, I soak it with a water a glue mix and erase all of the edges and pattern in the paper. And this is what it looks like when the third layer of toilet paper is in place. And now for the fun part, that is making the waves. For this layout I will make bow shaped waves like this. The waves are made with the brush and I just push the toilet paper uh, forward so it forms waves. At this stage I also place small objects in the uh, water which I intend to have there later and thereby I can shape, like in this case, the waves coming from the boat moving forward. Ah, huh? pretty awesome! This is what it looks like, the final result with a bit of light from the side so you can see the waves clearly. And now comes the tricky part. And that is as always the painting. I use uh, acrylic green, ivory black, 
Burnt Umber and Titanium White. I prefer to put the colors which I intend to blend next to each other and therefore I start with the green in the middle, uh, put the black on one side, the white on the other and the burnt umber a bit on the side. I then pour water into another bowl to use as a thinner. If you look through the water down on the seafloor you will see patterns of kind of diffuse green and area like round shapes a bit blurry like that so in order to accomplish that with a brush I choose a kind of a soft round uh, brush this one is a number 12 but I mean it depends on how large your uh, uh, water area will be of course the seafloor closest to the beach or uh, the waterfront is kind of brownish green. Time to get started on the paint. I start next to the beach with a light color. Uh, in this case it became kind of grayish brown. I then continue further out with a bit more green in the mix. Make sure not to thin the colors at this stage. Keep them thick and unthinned. Here I start to add also black in the mix. This is a green, black, brown mix. And this is a green, black mix. And in the very deep water I use almost just black. Next stage is to blur the edges between the different shades of the green. That is achieved by using a clean brush, dip that into the water and move from light colored areas into the darker colored areas like this. Hey, this starts to look pretty good. And this is the final result after the paint of the toilet paper. Not so bad. You can see the waves, you can see that it's more deep in some areas, more green towards brown in some areas. Not so bad. This is a good uh, foundation for the clear coat. Leave this to dry now for at least 72 hours because if you apply the clear coat too soon, the whole clear coat will crack. Yes, been there, done that. I use one of these, it's a heating fan. So when everything's dry, properly dry, then it's time to put on the clear coat. A few things is important with clear coat. Two comes to mind, maybe three. It should be a high gloss, clear coat, uh, colorless of course, and um, I prefer water-based. I've tried also solvent-based, but uh, they have a tendency to turn yellow, and it might also be more tricky to get it to work with the acrylic color you have underneath. Uh, another word on the gloss, it should be a high gloss. Uh, the gloss is uh, rated in uh, gloss value, and uh, water-based only go up to 70, gloss index 70 uh, per today, which might change in the future. Uh, whilst the solvent base goes up to 90. But honestly, I started out with a, a gloss index 40, which is a floor paint. And um, uh, it worked pretty fine. It didn't look good when, it's, when you got really bright illumination, like when you're taking photos and stuff. But for everyday use, Gloss Index 40 worked out fine. However, now I bought uh, a, 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 a can of uh, water-based Gloss 70. So this is very high gloss and water-based. Start to cover the entire area with one layer of this coat. When this first layer of clear coat has dried, I add another layer with glue. This is to increase the depth. 
And as soon as it's completely dry, and then I mean completely dry, I add at least four layers of clear coat on top of that to get that really glossy water-like look. And we're done. This is the final result. The waves are now uh, a bit lower than initially when we made them in the paper due to the things we added. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification when next video goes live. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and until next time, see ya!